if you and your speed freak boys are looking for a good set of wheels to crump of a gits out there, Mort Blade has you covered. We got a great selection for you to choose from, and today we're going to be looking at the Custom Booster Blaster. Now again, it's hard to keep the old voice going for the entirety of the guide, but welcome. In this little video, we're going to be looking at the Custom Booster Blaster vehicle in Speed Freaks. One of the light vehicles that is again DPS focused, but tends to specialize in more long range and medium range encounters with precise fire, which for an orc is unusual. Anyway, the basic stats for the Custom Booster Blaster is that it's a two bolt difficulty vehicle to control. It has 120 health and 80 speed. Pretty standard for a DPS vehicle. The lore behind it is armed with a rapid fire rivet cannon, explosive stick bombs, and the ability to leap off the ground in a burst of flame. This is the premier choice among speed freak mechanics. A great all rounder that operates best at medium ranges. But let's move into the abilities for this vehicle. First of all, you'll have access to your boost performed by holding shift, which consumes nitro to allow yourself to speed forward at a rapid pace. You'll also have access to your donut and air control by pressing space that allows you to perform sharp turns and control yourself slightly whilst you're airborne. And then finally, you'll have the dash ability by pressing F. This is a wonderful ability that allows you to lunge forward in whatever direction your camera is facing, smashing you into enemies, dealing a little bit of damage, or alternatively, it's a wonderful skill to get you out of danger quickly. It also comes with a very quick cooldown. But let's move on to the unique abilities to the Custom Booster Blaster. First of all is the Rivet Cannon, which is done by pressing the left mouse button. This fierce and tall turned weapon fires a thunderous hell of heated rivets. You can fire it in a 360 degree arc around you, so you can shoot behind you if need be, and is very accurate. It works best at medium to long ranges, as unfortunately it does have a slow rate of fire, which means close encounters are not optimal with this weapon. The next ability is the Stick Bomb, which is done by pressing the right mouse button. This hurls a stick bomb grenade that damages opponents and disrupts enemy vehicles. This basically is a grenade you throw at opponents, it deals damage and it can knock them back. It's straightforward and can cause disruption with your enemies. And then finally is the burner exhaust which is done by pressing E. This causes an explosion of flame underneath your car which allows the custom booster blaster to fly into the air. You can also jump higher by actually holding down E should the situation require it. But every vehicle out there, they all come with various pros and cons. No vehicle is perfect. When it comes to the custom booster blaster, the biggest pro is its accurate damage output. Able to bring down opponents quite comfortably from those medium and long ranges, so long as you're accurate with your shots. On top of that, the next pro is that this vehicle can fire in a 360 degree arc around it meaning that you can shoot behind you should the situation need it when you're running away from an opponent, add into your defense. And then finally for the pros is, this is a fast vehicle, but then again, all the light vehicles are quite fast. This combined with the dash ability allows you to get out of trouble quite quickly or catch up with escaping opponents. But of course there are cons. The two biggest cons for the custom booster blaster is unfortunately it does suffer when it comes to close range combat. This is thanks to the slow fire rate of the rivet cannon. And finally the other con is that the burner exhaust ability, it's very niche and not as useful as some of the other abilities out there in the game. But that being said, as the law states, this is a all rounder vehicle that excels at medium ranges. Thanks to the rivet cannon being able to bring down opponents from a distance so long as you're accurate, you'll find yourself in a vehicle that can handle almost any situation apart from those close range encounters. But thanks to this vehicle's speed, you can normally get away from those encounters so long as you're keeping an eye on where the other orcs are. But what are your thoughts? Please leave a comment down below. And until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you my Speed Freaks guide to the Custom Booster Blaster. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.